Hi guys, so in this video here, I'm going to be doing question 3. So shout out to Chase, um, they requested the video, so I felt the need to do it. Anyways, let's continue. So now, we're going to be solving question 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this question into two. I'm going to do 3.1 on this video and 3.2 on another video. Reason being, I'm always I'm also posting on TikTok. So TikTok has a restriction of 10 minutes. So I don't know how long I'm going to take for 3.1. So let's solve this problem here. Uh, question 3, we are having a quadratic sequence, right? And you are told that the second difference is 10. And then the first two terms are equals to T1 and T2. So it's important to note this information. So they're saying the second difference second difference is equal to 10. We all know the second difference in a quadratic in a quadratic sequence, right? Um, it's constant throughout. So what it means is in your second difference, we know we have 2a, right? Normally in a quadratic sequence. So it's equal to 10. So our value of a here will be divided by 2 here and a is equal to 5. Cool. So now we know the value of a. Why am I doing this? In 3.1, we are asked to find the formula. So already, 5 we have as our value of A. Fine. And then, um, the second part of the question says that the first two terms are equal to T1 and T2. So in your, in your quadratic sequence, you have T1, you have T2, you have T3, just like that T4, right? It continues. So we are told that T1 is equal to T2. So you can replace either or. So instead of writing T2, you can also write T1. It's the same thing, right? Because they're saying they're equal. I'm just going to write a different color. I'm going to write T1 also here. Meaning that these two are equal, right? Cool. And then we are told that T1 plus T2 plus T3 is equal to 28. So this information is important, by the way. So you're told that T1 plus T2 plus T3 is equal to 28. And we already know that T1 plus T2 are equal. So you can choose to write T1 or choose to write T2. So I'm just going to write T1. So I'm going to say T1 plus T1 plus T3 is equal to 28. So meaning it's 2T1, right, plus T3 is equal to 28. I hope I'm making sense. If I'm not, let me know in the comment section. So now we have this, right? Um, 2t1 plus t3 is equal to 28. Cool. And then, um, obviously, we need to identify this entire equation. But now, we need the value of c, we need the value of b, right? And to find the value of b, you need to first find the first difference. Uh, let's do this. Um, let's find the first difference of this thing. So, what we know is, is that finding the first difference here, remember the T1 and T2, which I wrote as T1, they are equal. So their difference would be zero. Right? So this gives us a hint because in the first term of the first difference, it's equal to, um, 3a plus b. I hope you remember that. It's equal to the first term of the first difference. And in this case, it equals to 0. And our value of a, we just calculated to be a, to be 5. It's going to be 3 into 5 plus b is equal to 0. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So it's 15 plus b is equal to 0. And then you transpose the b to the other side. I mean the, the 15 to the other side, you have b is equal to minus 15. So now we have, we have B right here, and we already calculated A, so now we want C, right? This one here. How are we going to find C? Um, you can pause the video and try it out. Um, but this is how we're going to find C, right? We're going to use this equation that I created earlier. So we didn't just create it uh, for nothing. We created it to find C, right? But in this equation, we don't know T1, so we need to identify T1. What is T1, actually? But what we know is, from our equation here, 
we know that the the second difference is 10. So meaning, if you were to add this 0 with this 10, it's going to be 10 here at the top. I hope I'm making sense, by the way. Meaning this thing will continue to have a second difference of 10. Right? So you'd add this 10 and 10 and get 20, just like that, you see? So you add this and add this, you get whatever that's supposed to be here. But we don't want that for now. What's important is, this is T1, this is T1, right? Yes, it's T2, but it's equal to T1, so hence I wrote T1. And what we have here is this. It's 2T1 plus T3 is equal to 28. So I wanted to check this, this out. This is T1 plus 10 gives us T3. I hope you know that, right? Uh, normally, that's how we find the next term of a quadratic sequence. So I'm going to say T1 plus the 10 is equal to T3. If it didn't make sense, just rewind the video and listen again. You'll get what I just did. So that's how we're going to do it. So I'm just going to erase here for space purposes. So now T1 plus 10 is equal to T3. That's our second equation. So I'm just going to write down these two equations because that, that's how we're going to find our value of C. This first one and this second one here. Let me write at the top and erase. So I hope you're still on the same page. And yeah, we are getting this. So now the first equation, which is this one that I did earlier. So it's 2T1 plus T2. 3 is equal to 28, equation 1, and then this second one here, which is T1 plus 10 is equal to T3. Remember, we need T1. Why do we need T1? Can someone say? Because um, to find the value of C, we say A plus B plus C is equal to the first term. So it's important for us to find T1, not necessarily T3. You don't have to find T3. So that's the first thing we need to do. We need to find this T1 so that we already know A and B to be able to find C, right? So I'm just going to equate, because here it's telling me that my, my equation 2, where did I see equation 1? Equation 2 says that T3 is equal to this. So wherever I see T3, I'm going to put T1 plus 10. I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to say 2T1 plus, instead of writing T3, I'm going to write this here, which is T1 plus 10 is equal to 28. Now we have three T1s, right? Plus 10 is equal to 28. Transpose the 10 to the other side. You have three T1 is equal to 28 minus 10, right? So let me remove this at the bottom. So, and then... Um, we're going to subtract these two. Obviously, we know it's going to be 18. So it's 3T1 is equal to 18 divided by 3 both sides. And then my T1 is equal to 6. All right? I'm going to substitute it here. So I mean, I have A plus B plus C is equal to T1. What is my A value? It's 5. We've got 5, right? Um, so it's 5. My A value is 5. 5, my b value is minus 15, plus my c is equal to 6. Uh, then 5 minus 15, we're getting minus 10, plus c is equal to 6, right? Transpose the, the 10 to the other side. We have c is equal to 6 plus 10, which is equal to 16. So now we have our value of c. Value of a is equal to 5, value of b is equal to minus 15, value of c is equal to 16. Then we are literally done here because you have your tn is equal to an squared plus bn plus c. My value of a is 5, so it's 5n squared minus 15n plus 16. So this is your tn. Hope you did understand. If you didn't, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to continue with 3.2 on another video.